What are you doing? You having a good day? <laughs> You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Yeah. I wish they were all put away in a shed. And I know plenty of people say, why don't you build a shed? There's more complex things than uh, me just putting up a shed. One, my name is not on the lease here. Two, it's a lease. And it's a... There's, it's not like a normal operation where you can just build a shed, pull a permit, everybody's happy, build a shed, you're good. Or places that don't even pull permits. We gotta clean everything up. This weekend's supposed to be actually beautiful weather. Well, hot, like 60 degrees. So we got this to wash. We got the tanker to wash. The Mac needs some cleaning. And then uh, this winter we're gonna have to, yeah, this needs to get cleaned. And this winter we will uh, fix the chain, put new chains through it. Well, put new cross pieces through it. So that's good. The trailer I never actually washed. I don't remember washing it. Or did I? And it actually looks pretty clean. So I'm not really sure what, I don't know what I did there, but I gotta pick up some of my mess. So I'm not gonna put these arms back on the tractor until I split the transmission, put the reverse gear in it. Nothing too crazy. This I'm gonna keep as spare parts. Yeah. Maybe we'll patch it. Maybe we'll fix some of that stuff. Uh, maybe. I don't know. As far as the corn head, this is going to get parked out back. And this winter, when things slow down, we will slide it into the shop. Pull everything apart to this point. Take those apart. Put the new paws in it. Um, and we'll also check everything else. Like, So there's a shaft that connects in between it. At that end, we'll put a new one of that, we'll put a new uh, engagement, we'll put clutches all through everything. The actual wear and everything else like that, that is all on Kemper's site. It has a whole, I don't know if it was like 15 minute video of this is what to check. So we'll do that. So that way this head next year, like that shaft break, breaking the bolts and whatnot, we'll figure that out. We'll be ready to rock and roll. I really like this head. I really like what I paid for it. We just got to invest some time and money into it. And well, yeah, it will be in a really good place. So we'll slide this out back that we're going to modify this winter to fit on it. We'll go to the 300 head from the 220 head that's on it. This I got to do sooner than later. I got so many projects. We're just gaining. Um, some of the projects are the farm. So there's a lot of questions. The 4230 um low compression hates running doesn't even run right now they took the pump off and then now it doesn't even run it needs a head gasket i'm almost positive of that this i got everything except for they never sent out the oil cooler to get it pressurized pressure tested so we're gonna rebuild the top end of that but yeah that's that's on my list. We're gonna do that sooner than later because doing that in the winter outside isn't that much fun. So, let me go get the mini loader and uh, move some stuff around. Since we're here. So they're feeding out that fourth cut that we cut, chopped real late. It was low in protein. We got a good uh, chunk of it. We're feeding it to dry cows and heifers. But here's what it is. It never really changed from what it was. But it actually smells really good. Like, can you guys smell it? Actually pretty good. A little rot on the edge because, well, can't pack it. But they've been feeding that for, I don't know, two weeks. I think it started right here. So we told them to bump it up to try to get more through it. Because it makes a mess not having more pit area. But it is what it is. So, 
pretty much doing a general video today of everything what goes on through my head um people ask what's actually on the mixer 2950 we did a motor in it um three years ago two years ago two years ago i think so 2950 it's got i don't know 16,000 hours on it or something so the crank went bad and then they kept running it and uh well yeah it was out, way out of whack so did that then the roto mix what are you doing you having a good day <laughs> you're gonna be a muddy mess again aren't you hot damn they washed this thing for me so that's cool they did run it the whole time so i uh said hey if you guys got the pressure washer out you might as well wash this bad boy up so the only things we're gonna do different for next year with this we're gonna put a new door in um raise it up some so it's easier make it wider probably put a float gauge in it too uh like my other trucks I do, i've done that so or other tanks that tank right there that we don't use very much has got one uh but otherwise it's good people say you can put a 55 gallon drum uh cut it put it in there i agree uh but i'd rather just do it right and make it a wider opening too that way nursing into it's a lot easier but brought the head over got all my other pieces they're all on pallets right there so mess with this later on next thing that out of the way I do see that the top links left on it so we'll take that off that's always a pain when you can't find them I do not think I'm gonna put my blade back on the 7520 when I do plow snow with or did plow snow with it it was just me messing, messing around it wasn't like uh, I was getting paid to do that so doesn't really benefit me plus I'm not a big fan of winter so uh, let's grab that top link I forgot about that We just gotta adjust some things, change the shaft on the gearbox and weld the hookups on in the right spot or bolt them on in the right spot because it's narrower than the newer machines. So it just takes a little finesse and some trial and measuring and then we'll be okay. Yeah, this head, I'm actually pretty excited for it. Like it's, it's in a good, it's in great shape, which is amazing. Cause usually I like buying projects and it's a slight project, nothing too crazy. I guess I should put that chain back in my toolbox on my trailer. This one goes in the loader. It always gets too dark in the winter time. That's the worst part. Someday, 
shop someday, you guys. I know. Then I can work in light, not in the cold. It is freezing. It's, I don't know, 30. Uh, so got most of my stuff put away. Hopefully the weather doesn't, it doesn't actually snow anything. It just makes a sloppy mess when it snows and then gets 60 out. And then, uh, yeah. But I appreciate you guys watching along on today's video and uh, like and subscribe. Hit the merch store up if uh, you haven't got anything for Christmas. Hopefully they find my small hats and I can get the rest of those orders out. Uh, all the other pre-order stuff should be in next week. So that is the plan. I talked to the guy today. Uh, he's really pushing to get it to me so I can get it out my door. So, Weatherman was somewhat right. We got a little bit of snow. Not enough that it actually matters, but still enough that I'm over snow already. Appreciate you guys watching along. I'll see you on the next video.